Warning, the following file contains a virulent info hazard. Access by personnel without 3 oblique 3231 clearance is strictly prohibited. Item number SCP-3231 Index 10 million people can't be wrong. Object class Euclid Special Containment Procedures With the assistance of the Unusual Incidents Unit, the original record of SCP-3231 has been confiscated and all related records expunged from the local police department and FBI. MTF Epsilon 23 Ellipsis is tasked with containing all outbreaks of SCP-3231 by any means necessary. Termination of affected individuals is authorized if amnestic treatment does not reduce symptoms within 12 hours. Related persons of interest, including the affected family, the perpetrator, and the victim, must be monitored at all times. Level 3 Oblique 3231 security clearance is to be given only to Foundation personnel with a minimum Foundation Standard Mental Resistance Test Score of 94, regardless of previous clearance. No other personnel are allowed access to this file. Description SCP-3231 is the case file record of a child kidnapping, the details of which contain a virulent info hazard. Affected individuals believe that the kidnapping victim is still missing. Subjects persist in this belief even when offered physical evidence to the contrary, including insisting that evidence has been faked and denouncing the identity of the living victim. Subjects display a desire to relate details of the case to others. Most subjects need to be acquainted with approximately 30% of the case for the info hazard to take effect. However, certain individuals have been infected after learning only the barest details, necessitating extreme caution in the documentation of SCP-3231. The amount of detail known by a subject prior to infection is inversely proportional to the efficacy of amnestic treatment. Addendum 3231-01, Incident 3231-Alpha. A widespread outbreak of SCP-3231 occurred in September 1994. After details of the case were broadcast on popular television show, over 9 million individuals across the United States were affected. Cleanup efforts lasted six months, though it is not known whether any affected individuals escaped notice, nor how many. It is not known how the show's producers obtained information about the case. Addendum 3231-02 Details of SCP-3231 3 oblique 3231 clearance eyes only Warning! High likelihood of infohazardous infection Access On May 8th, 1978 Deborah Valerie Baynard, aged five years, disappeared while playing by herself in her front yard in Penfield Township, Ohio. After an extensive search, Baynard was found on August 15th, 1978, alive and in the custody of Ian Joseph Arnorson, 32, already suspected in another child kidnapping in Lorraine County. Arnorson was tried and found guilty of kidnapping and murder. The Foundation became involved during the FBI investigation when an agent with the Unusual Incidents Unit noted that the Baynard family insisted the returned victim was not Debbie. He had done something to her. No amount of assurance from officials could persuade the family the child had been found alive. The family and Arnorson were amnesticized after a Foundation interrogation, but that didn't bury the truth. To this day, they are not carriers of SCP-3231. Deborah Baynard was taken into Foundation custody in 1985, when she was reported as a runaway by her school. She claimed her parents were abusive, but it was just a family driving out the mockingbird planted in their midst. Why won't they give us our baby back? She has since joined the Foundation as E-class personnel, but we can't hide her from the world. Not forever. We know. And now it's time for everyone to know the pure, beautiful truth. It's time to bring our Debbie back to us. 
I am not who I am. Warning. Database integrity error. Counter meme deployment unsuccessful. Security has been notified. Please remain at this terminal.